Hello all. In this video session, we will be discussing about fwrite function and fread function. Okay. So this fwrite function is used to write bytes of data to a file. So it has mainly four parameters. First one, we will be providing the address from which we will be taking the data. Then the size of each element in that particular element. Okay. For example, if I am only using a variable of type int, then the size will be 4. Or we can just simply give size of int. Since I am only writing one particular value here, the number of members is given as 1. And then finally, we will be giving the yeah, file pointer, that is the address pointed by this fp. Okay. Then if you want to write an array, then what you does is that consider that A is an array with n elements, then you can write f write of A. Now since array name is the starting address of the array, we can just simply write A, then comma, then size of int, that is the size of individual elements, and then n, which is the total number of elements, and finally fp, which is the file pointer pointing to the file. So these are the two ways in which you can use fwrite. Okay. Now the return value of fwrite is actually the number of data that are returned to the file. Okay. So if only one record is written, then it will return one. If it uh, writes 10 records or 10 integers, in this case 10 integers, then it will return 10. Okay. And if after performing fwrite operation, if it returns zero, and that means something went wrong or it was unable to write the data to the or write the integers to the file. Okay. So we will just go through the program. So we have studio.h, we have include studio.h, stdlib, then we have defined max, then we have declared array, then n and i, then we have declared file point fp, and then we have called the fopen function, and the name of the file is wrdemo.dat and our mode is write binary okay so here i have just given the extension dot that since it is a binary file if you also give dot text it will work anyway for simplicity i have just given it as dot that and since we are writing bytes of data i have given it as wp which stands for write binary okay so after performing this operation we have done this checking of fp equal to equal to null uh, for checking the successful open then after that i have and uh, read the number of elements to the variable n then i have read the array elements to the array a then after that i have wrote that all that elements to the file okay for that i have used f write then the starting address, so name of the array is the starting address, then size of individual element, that is size of int, since A is an integer array, then n, which is the total number of members or total number of elements to be written. So we will be writing n elements and fp is the file pointer pointing to the file. Okay, so after performing this write operation, we will perform the f close operation. Okay, so here we were uh, considering an array, that's why here we have given A and here N. Okay, if you want to write data stored in an integer variable to a file, then we can give F write of address of that particular value. Okay, so consider that it is stored in num, then we can give ampersand num to get the address. Then we should give the size, so just I use the size of operator, so size of int then number of elements that is one element then fp that is the file pointer pointing to the file okay this is for writing values of an array to a file and this function here it will write the value in num to the file pointed by fp okay so after performing this operation this f close function will close the file okay so you will just uh, check this program so gcc f writer i have to save this save this and f write demo dot c output it to f write demo dot out okay no errors 
and I'm just going to try run this afraid demo dot out. So it is asking the number of elements. I'm just going to give five and I'm going to input 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Okay. So this 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 are written to the file. The name of the file is wrdemo.dat and this is a binary file. So we'll just check the content of this file. So cat wrdemo.dat. Okay. So this is a binary file. That's why we got the display like this. Okay. So cat is usually for printing the ASCII files. So here the data is written bytes by bytes. So we got display like this. Okay. So anyway, we will now see the fread function and we will see how this fread function reads data from the file wrdemo.dat. Okay. We will be going through fread function. So fread function is similar to fread function. It has four arguments. First argument is ampersand num. That means it will be taking data from file and it will be storing that data at variable num. Okay. Then after that size of that particular variable, the number of members to be read from the file. Okay. So if you are reading one number, you will be giving one here. Then after that, the file pointer that is the location pointed by the file. Okay. And if you want to read data from file and put it into an array, then you will be using this format. It is also similar. So f read of the starting address that is a, which you use the starting address of the array a, then size of the individual element that is size of int, then after that number of data items that is to be read from the file. So if there are n elements, we will be giving n. Then after that, fb, that is the file pointer pointing to the file from which we are reading data. Okay. These are the two ways in which we can use a read function. And uh, one more thing that you have to remember is that uh, a read function returns the number of data items that it read from the file. Okay. So if this f read function fails or if f read function encounters end of file, then it will return the value zero. Okay. So we can evaluate the return the value. If it is zero, then we can say that end of file has reached. Okay. So also remember about that. Okay. So we will just go through the program similar to the program about f write. Similar code is also here. Okay, here hash define max ten is not required since I am not using array. So I am just going to delete that. Okay. So now I have a num, then I have a file point fp, then I have open wrdemo.dat in read binary mode. Then here I am checking for successful open. If it is successful for open, then I have given print the contents of files are then I have used the fread function. So it will read one record from the file pointed by fp and store it in store it in num. Okay. So then after that it will check whether the end of file has reached. If not end of file it will print that particular number and again it will read so it will be reading the next number and again it will be checking whether end of file has reached. If not, again it will print and again it will read from the file and this process will continue until end of file is reached. Okay. Then after that, when end of file is reached, it will exit from this file loop and control will come here and then it will close the file. Okay. So this is one method of uh, reading using fread function. So we will just compile this and then come back. So gcc fread demo dot c. Okay, I haven't saved this. So I'm just going to save this. Okay. And then output it to fread demo dot out. Okay, no errors. So dot slash fread demo dot out. So it print the contents of the file wrdemo.dat that is 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Okay. So this is one method and there is one more method that is we can make use of the return value 
of a free function. Okay, so I'm just going to comment this lines of codes. Uh, I have commented that and I have commented this. Okay, so now here what it does is that we have mentioned that a free function returns the number of data items that it has read. Okay, so usually if there is a read error or if end of file has reached, then it will return a value zero. Okay, so we are checking whether this f return is returning a value greater than zero. That means it is reading some values. In that case, there are data in the file and we will be reading through this file. And once this f read function returns a value, that is equal to or less than zero then that means end of file has reached and it will exit from the while loop okay so that is another method of uh, finding out the whether the end of file has reached or not okay we can make use of the return value of a freed function okay so these are the two methods we can either use feof function or we can use the return value of freed function to find out whether the end of file is reached or not. Using that we can print the entire file. Okay, we will just uh, compile this program and check how this particular loop works. Okay, so just compiled it, no errors, then I'm running it. Okay, the same output that is we will be getting all the numbers. Okay. So we mainly discussed about fwrite function and fread function and both of them is having four parameters. Remember about those four parameters. Okay. Thank you.